Hello and welcome to the Mumbai regional round of Indian of the Year. Well, for the last couple of years, Indian of the Year has in a sense been one of the main themes that we've picked up on at NDTV. It's an effort at identifying people who've been absolutely outstanding in their sphere of work across the year. And that's what we're trying to do this year as well. We're traveling to different cities, bringing in different audiences, bringing in different guests, and essentially trying to get an idea of, of people who've inspired so many across the country and opinions on them. Biloni? Thank you very much, Vishnu. Yes, we're looking at our achievers. Those people who've given us that one moment to say, well done, given us that one moment to applaud and to cheer. <laughs> but first, let's introduce our panel. I'll start with uh, Mr. Jerry Pinto, wears many hats, poet, <coughs> writer, novelist. Mr. Sudhir Mishra has his own idiom of uh, storytelling and filmmaking. Mr. Sanjay Jha, uh, banker to uh, founder of a cricket portal. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining us. You know, if we, we were to discuss all the categories, we'd be here all evening. But I don't think any of us have got that much time. So what we've decided to do, essentially, is look at three categories. We're looking at entertainment, we're looking at sport, and we're looking at business. And we're just going to be throwing up a few names every now and again and bringing in your audience participation and also the views uh, of our panel today uh, on, on, on how they feel or perhaps don't feel that these individuals have made a contribution this year. All right. So what are we going to pick on? Mumbai, so we're going to pick on entertainment. And uh, Ms. Mishra, first question to you. Uh, what's been the film that's captured your imagination in 2010? Uran. Uran. Okay. Definitely, Vikram Odwani's film, which which is, you know, real and and uh, poignant and, uh, you know, I mean, a, a father son relationship, uh, done so well, you know, the the character of the father so well explored, the film that's so true, doesn't sort of, you know, get rattled at any point and and stays true to his, you know, and and a film that, you know, a guy like Vikram living in in, in the city sort of making a film so against the grain when he could do something and so being so courageous and I, I along with Vikram I think Anurag Kashyap for for uh, for producing the film Peeply Live is very interesting mm. and Amir is very interesting were you uh, disappointed that Peeply Live didn't eventually go on to make it further up in the run for the Oscars so did you feel it had it in I it don't, to, I, to I, be I that? think the Oscars uh, foreign film category is full of old fuddy duddies who you know and I don't think we should care too much like that you know but Amir is, is very interesting with what he's doing with his power, you know, right. and with his clout. And he even say later now that he has made, uh, you know, Dhovi Ghat or that he made a film like, uh, uh, you know, Peeply. It's very interesting that, you know, he, you, you, when films like that come out in the mainstream and through uh, Amir, maybe a lot more people see it. So a lot, a lot more people get exposure to another kind right. of film because otherwise you're just bombarded with one kind of cinema and all of it has to be, you know, sure. You know, idiotic. Should we try and get in an audience reaction? What has been your favorite film uh, of Just 2010? Just raise your hand. Yeah, I feel actually Peeply Live really puts forth the media where we are sitting here. We are on NDTV today. And uh, it actually shows how everyone's running after TRPs and how a small thing like maybe someone, a farmer who's lost in committing suicide has gone to shit and that's on the news. Like what's happening? But that's what is happening. Is that what's happening? Is that what? No, I personally feel that Peeply Live actually got slightly overrated. You know, the issue it got was to overrated. I'll tell you why. Because the issue should have been somewhere down the line to bring forth the issue of farmer suicides. Right. It finally ended up actually trivializing the role of a very you know eyeballs-driven media. I think it, de it detracted actually from the main plot. I felt that you know you know I, I may not have too many supporters for this particular liking of mine, but in a commercial mainstream cinema. The attempt by a very candy floss filmmaker like Karan Johar to talk about a minority community's gentleman uh, who is also physically handicapped, making a statement that we ought not to be marginalized and treated constantly with this jaundiced eye that each one of us is a yes. suspect in the eyes of the government or the public, was an extremely bold attempt. My now, the very fact that you have Shah Rukh, you know, he dominates the film because of his persona. But as a theme, I thought that was an extremely bold and an experimental step with a global ram ramification. I think deserved a lot more credit.